I see a lady. Your name is Justina. Ton nom c'est Justina. You are married to Celestine. Tu es marié à Celestin. Justina is married to Celestine. Justina est mariée à Celestin. God is releasing your own baby, your own. Le Seigneur relâche ton pas, ta part de bébé maintenant. God say, come and carry your own child. Le Seigneur dit, viens porter ton bébé. Justina is married to Celestin. Justina est mariée à Celestin. Who is the person? Qui est cette personne? Nomumba, Nomumba, Nomumba. Who is Celestin? Qui est Celestin? Husband. Where is he? Il est où? He's in Boya. What is Mundemba? Mundemba. I'm from Mundemba. Je viens de Mundemba. Woman. Femme. 2013. 2013. You got married March 2013. Tu t'es marié en mars 2013. 13th of March 2013. 13th March 2013. Let me pray for you. Que je prie pour toi. In the realms of the spirit. Dans le règne de l'esprit. I see the hand of God. Je vois la main de Dieu. Coming upon your life. Descend de suite ta vie. Coming upon your husband. Descend de suite ton mari. Because. Parce que. God has decided to show you mercy. Dieu a décidé de te montrer, de te montrer sa miséricorde. And as I'm praying for you, I'm praying. To... Look here, look here. Regarde ici. There are two children in your house. Il y a deux enfants dans ta maison. There are two children in your house. Il y a deux enfants dans ta maison. Wait. Attends, wait. attends. They are not your biological children. Ils ne sont pas tes enfants bio biologiques. Kendra. 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 Who is precious? Qui est precious? My, my sister's daughter. But I'm seeing her in your house. Je la vois dans ta maison. Let me pray for you. Que je prie pour toi. Because you have decided to take care of other people's children. Parce que tu as décidé de prendre soin des enfants de d'autres personnes. Woman. Femme. Why am I seeing something like, like white, like yogurt, like yogurt? Comme les, yogurt. Comme les yaourts. I do say yogurt. And I see in the spirit realm, God is about to expand that business. God is about to surprise you. Le Seigneur prend de te surprendre. Twins coming. Twins. Les jumeaux viennent. Les jumeaux. Twins coming. Les jumeaux. I didn't plan. I didn't plan to come back to Cameroon at all. Je n'avais pas prévu de revenir au Cameroon cette année. So when I was in Boya, was it Boya? Dans lorsque j'étais à Boya, I gave my word I was going to come to Kumba. J'ai donné ma parole que je vais rentrer à Kumba. So I came here to fulfill my promise. Donc je suis venu ici pour accomplir ma promesse. For the man that must make heaven, he must keep his words. Un homme qui doit frapper, qui doit faire les choses, doit garder sa parole. If he must make heaven, he must keep your words. Si c'est que tu dois aller au ciel, tu dois garder tes paroles. So I want you to say whatever you want to say. Partout vous êtes mal que vous dites. I love him. Je l'aime. And I love what God is doing through him. Et j'aime ce que Dieu fait à travers de lui. The one thing I want you to know. Et une chose que j'aimerais que tu saches. Is that the best is yet to come. C'est que le meilleur est en route pour venir. This is the beginning. Ça c'est le commencement. Of greatness. De la grandeur. Of favor. De faveur. Of expansion. De l'expansion. You have churches in America. Tu auras les églises en Amérique. London. À Londres. Asia, en Asie, Middle East, en Amérique du Sud, jusqu'à ce que tu vas perdre la compte. Et je te dis ceci de mon cœur. Que ce que Dieu a planifié pour toi, que quelqu'un qui cherche à te bénir, que ce que Dieu a planifié pour toi, 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 que ce que Dieu a pour le monde qui te cherche, to honor you. pour t'honorer, help us to honor them. Les bienfaiteurs vont les honorer. Amen. Amen. I have a father in the Lord. J'ai un père dans le Seigneur. And when you hear my father talk about me, my father talk about me. Lorsque tu écoutes mon père parler de moi, when I say father, biological, spiritual. Lorsque je parle de père, je parle de biologique, spirituel. There's one thing I do when you hear them say is how I honor them. Et une chose que j'aime, c'est quand ils disent comment je les honore. Once you are covered, une fois que tu as couvert, you are covered. Lorsque tu as couvert, by God's grace, par la grâce de Dieu, and by the good heart of a good man, et par le bon cœur d'un bon homme, there is no stopping you. Il y a personne qui peut te stopper. So AGM, I love you. Bah AGM, je vous aime. And God bless you. Et Dieu vous bénisse. You know, it's really strange to see how all of them are now running to Cameroon. Uh, John C. Sulemano had been to Cameroon twice within this year and uh, from the look of things 
he might be going there for the third time or the fourth time. Who knows? And also, Jeremiah Omoto is also planning to go to Cameroon. So it makes you wonder what have they found in Cameroon that they are now or watching there. It makes you wonder because to the best of my knowledge, Cameroon has a lot of problems, right? So maybe they are going to fix those problems. Is that the reason they are rushing to Cameroon? Because they want to help Cameroon resolve her problems. And if that be the case, then the next question would be, have they succeeded in solving the problems that Nigeria has? Because Nigeria is technically a fair state. Like the whole country is in total disorder. Insecurity is the order of the day. Inflation is killing the common Nigerians. For someone to eat in Nigeria is like a cage fight. Things have just gotten from worst to worst. There is no end at sight. Nigerians are crying every day, every night. Don't get me started with the road situation. So if these men of God are flogging to Cameroon to solve Cameroon's problems, you will wonder if they have solved Nigeria's problem first. You know, there's one thing I have realized, right? Uh, these so-called men of God, as they call themselves, would come out and say, we are taking over the world. You will hear a person like Jerry Eze say, we are taking over the world. We are going to every single corner of the world and we are capturing them for God. They would like to say that. But if you ask yourself or if you ask him, what exactly are we taking over? What exactly are we taking over? We are preaching religion to the people, but how has that helped the people move ahead? How has that helped them move ahead, except making you guys multimillionaires? How has religion actually be of any use to the people? You ask them that. That is a question you should ask them. And I bet most of them wouldn't be able to answer it. You know, this whole thing has been ongoing for many, many years. And the, the men of God, so to say, have benefited a lot from it. If you ask yourself, right, when, men of, uh, when people like David Oyedipo or... Enoch Adeboye started their ministry or started in the whole pastoring thing. They were ordinary people, right? I can say maybe they were broke or even not broke, but they were not as rich as they are now. But after many years, look at where they are. Look at how much wealth they've got for themselves. Now let's take the society uh, whom they have been preaching to. How has the lives of those people become? How is the average Nigerian feeling or faring? These are the questions you must ask yourself to really analyze if what they have been preaching has actually worked out or not. This is the question you must ask yourself. Because when I come out and talk about things like this, people feel like I just want to talk. But that's not the case. The thing is, like, in order to measure if something is a success, right, you must be able to see the number of people who have benefited or who are benefiting from that thing. If a thing just benefit a handful of people, why it does not benefit a huge majority of the population, then that thing hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. 
And just so we are clear, religion as a whole, okay, or let's say what is being preached by these so-called preachers isn't meant to benefit the people. It's meant to benefit the men of God or the preachers themselves. Because when they organize this crusade, do you know who benefit the most from it? The preachers and the organizers. When people go there, they gather their hard earned money and give it to those so-called men of God. Those men of God leave those venues with a lot of money. And that's how they become successful. And what you get as the people is just empty promises. It's just the, the, the hope of better days ahead. What does that actually mean? No one knows. You might go to heaven. You might meet God. When? We don't know. Is it true? We don't know. We just believe it. But then you have given your money to men of God. Or you have believed in what they've told you. This is really sad. No, this is really, really sad. And I feel so sad for all those people who are attending this so-called crusade, thinking that it's going to change their lives 100% or 50% or whatever. I feel pity for them because, believe it or not, the crusade won't change your life. You have to change your life. Giving your heart and money to a man of God won't do you any good. You have to do the things you have to do to make your own life better. The man of God is just doing what he has to do to make his own life better. He's not thinking about your life. He's thinking about himself. So you have to think about yourself. Everyone has to think about themselves. No one will do the thinking for you. No one. No one will do it for you. So, Prophet Jeremiah planning to go to Cameroon, thinking or uh, promising to resolve all the problems that Cameroonians are facing, just make me laugh because he hasn't even done anything in Nigeria. <laughs> he has not fixed Nigeria's own problem. <laughs> I wonder how he can begin to fix Cameroon's own problem. I wonder. And all those preachers who have been promising us better days ahead, they are the ones who are having the better days. We are suffering. <laughs> so if you are out there still thinking that there is this man of God who is going to make your life better, who is going to do things that will benefit you, who is going to put himself out there for your own benefit. Sorry to broke your trust or belief. It won't happen. It will never, ever happen. It will never happen. But then again, I like to hear your own opinion in the comment section below. What do you think is the reason why Nigerian preachers are just flogging into Cameroon. Can they really change the face of Cameroon? Because Cameroon now is like a boiling pot just waiting to boohoo. So do you think they can really solve the problem? Or maybe they have realized that there is a, 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 a place that hasn't been taken over so they are trying to make their own mark or mark their own plot or however you want to phrase it. And that is why they are all just rushing to Cameroon. Let us hear that in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. Please kindly like the video, share it, and also subscribe to the channel because that helps us a lot and we will forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.